On behalf of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, I'm delighted to have the chance to join the uh, event. I want to express my uh, gratitude to the Partnerships in Environmental Management for the Seas of East Asia for the opportunity to speak here. Uh, and my congratulations to you and also to the government of Cambodia for hosting this excellent event. This conference provides a great opportunity to uh, engage with partners uh, on promoting the blue economy. I I'm only sorry that uh, I can't be with you in person. I've just uh, returned from the uh, UK at, where I was attending the uh, COP26 meetings in Glasgow um, and uh, have to return to, to Beijing. Um, this conference is very important because of the enormous uh, opportunity that the blue economy represents in terms of the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, improved livelihood and jobs, and ocean ecosystem health. As you all know, the world's oceans provide many benefits. Seas and oceans cover more than 70% of the world's surface and sustain 80% of life uh, on this uh, planet. They produce over half the world's oxygen and store 50 times more carbon dioxide than our uh, atmosphere. And in this region, East Asia, seas are especially significant. It's home to over 30% of the world's mangroves, um, which have extraordinary benefits in terms of biodiversity, but also protection from uh, climate risks. Um, countries in this region account for about 80% of the, of the global agriculture and 60% of fisheries supply and production, and uh, a vast amount of ocean-going international shipping traffic also passes through these waters. And so ensuring the sustainability of the blue economy um, enables us to obtain value from these oceans and coastal regions while respecting their long-term ability to regenerate and ensure activities uh, through the implementation of sustainable practices in all dimensions. Uh, today's topic is particularly important because ocean investment is complex in nature, more complex perhaps than the typical land-based uh, infrastructure investment. So harnessing public and private financing and investment uh, along with uh, positive, uh, delivering positive social and environmental impacts on coasts and oceans requires special expertise uh, sources uh, uh, to source and evaluate and develop uh, such projects. The blue economy, of course, encompasses many, many uh, activities, including marine-based activities as well as marine-related activities. Um, and the blue economy has, in common with the rest of the global economy, been hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. And so it, addressing the combined climate, environmental, health, economic and social challenges uh, is a daunting task, but one on which we have to uh, act. AIB is working with our member countries across the region to promote blue economy uh, development. Of course, AIB is a young organization as, a, as, a, as the first new multilateral development bank of the 21st century. We were founded in uh, early uh, 2016. Today, we have 103 members uh, all around uh, the world. Uh, we're a young organization and our focus is essentially on supporting infrastructure projects, land-based infrastructure in the main, um, which supports the sustainable economic development of our members, and particularly low and middle income uh, countries in Asia. But we're increasingly aware of the, uh, the, the, the strong interactions between the green and the blue, if you like, uh, and the need to adopt a holistic approach. And we're committed to being at the forefront of the global sustainability uh, agenda. We were created at the same time as the Paris Agreement was signed, just a few months after the Sustainable Development Goals uh, were agreed. And so these are part of the, the DNA of our, of our bank, uh, if you like. And we've, as part of our commitment to high standards, uh, we've adopted best practices in terms of our environmental and social safeguards and our objectives. Last year was the fifth anniversary uh, of AIB and we uh, adopted our first corporate strategy where we identified our focus and our focus is on financing infrastructure for tomorrow. Infrastructure for tomorrow means the kind of infrastructure that our members are going to need for the next few decades of their development. And that may be quite different to what was needed in the past. And so to that end, we identified four major priorities. Uh, green infrastructure, 
particularly focused on climate change, but also uh, biodiversity and wider green uh, objectives. Uh, connectivity and regional cooperation to promote trade and engagement uh, between our, our members. Technology is critical, and so our third priority is technology-enabled infrastructure, both investing in digital connectivity itself and also the application of digital technology to make the most of the infrastructure that we are investing in. And finally, mobilizing private sector capital because the scale of the needs in this space are so huge that official sources alone cannot, uh, cannot manage. Um, and all of these contain, all of these thematic areas contain cross-cutting benefits that link to the blue uh, economy. Obviously, climate change is, 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 is crucial and you're all aware of uh, at this. Um, and climate change impacts include rising sea level, coastal erosion, changing ocean current uh, patterns, and so green infrastructure includes financing for climate change mitigation, also adaptation and resilience, and other ev environmental benefits. And to scale that up, we've set ourselves an ambitious target that by 2025, at least 50% of our financing should be climate related. Obviously, connectivity and connecting economies is vital to trade and economic growth, and ocean connectivity is absolutely critical to trade, but also has known uh, income, uh, known impacts. And so that priority includes improving connectivity in Asia and promoting regional cooperation through the adoption of sustainable practices. Uh, Technology-enabled infrastructure means that we want to make our, our infrastructure more sustainable, more efficient, um, uh, and more, uh, more resilient. And finally, as this conference shows, uh, fulfilling the potential of the blue, blue economy requires scaling up private capital mobilization. And so we're working to develop innovative financing and investment products to, mobile, to mobilize private finance at a large uh, scale. Obviously, environmental and social sustainability is, is mainstreamed through everything that we, uh, that we do. Uh, we apply the bank's environmental and social framework, a policy that was updated earlier this year, to every project that AIB finances. And we assure that our support to, to our clients will achieve environmentally and socially sustainable development outcomes in line with high, the highest uh, international standards. I want to give you a couple of examples of, of, of projects and initiatives that, that we've already financed that uh, contribute also to the development of the blue economy. Um, I want to highlight uh, two of them. In the Maldives, the Greater Mali Waste to Energy uh, uh, Project um, is establishing uh, a sustainable regional solid waste treat treatment system in the Greater Mali capital region. The project's designed to ensure the safe disposal and recycling of, of waste, reducing greenhouse gas emissions on the island, and generating electricity from waste to, uh, uh, to, to, to energy. In Indonesia, we're supporting the Mandalika Urban and Tourism uh, Initiative. Uh, it's the southern coastal area of Lombok Island uh, in, uh, in, in, in Indonesia. Uh, and we're providing $250 million uh, in loans for this uh, project. Um, and the project's anticipated to have a wider range of, of environmental and social uh, benefits. And we're working closely with the local communities to make sure that this project is implemented to the highest standards. We're also exploring ideas to develop uh, greening ports, offshore renewable energy, promotion of maritime uh, connectivity. For example, we financed also the development of the Dukum port in Oman. Uh, and we're forging new partnerships to crowd in private capital to sustainable infrastructure projects while applying and also transferring our high standards as a multilateral development bank to private sector co-financiers and clients. For example, under the Asia Climate Bond portfolio, we've developed a climate change investment framework in partnership with the Mundi and the Climate Bond Initiative to set a clear definition uh, and approach for Paris alignment in the capital markets, uh, allowing investors to identify and engage with bond issuers uh, to better align financing with the three goals of the Paris Agreement on mitigation, adaptation, and also directing financial flows to, to the Paris Agreement. Um, we've developed a sustainable development bond framework for our own bond issuances uh, to ensure that we're uh, meeting the best standards also. Um, it's increased the transparency in terms of environmental and social impacts generated by AIB's uh, uh, financing. And the framework applies to all of the, the debt issued by AIB in all markets, in all currencies, 
um, which reflects our holistic approach to promoting sustainable development through sovereign and non-sovereign investment operations. So we are committed to financing infrastructure for tomorrow. We're committed to, as this institution grows and develops in the coming years, uh, to investing to support sustainable practices in our, in our members and, and sustainable projects. And that includes investment in projects which have benefits also for the blue economy. So I'd like to express again my sincere thanks to the organizers of this conference. Uh, I hope very much that this conference is a great success. I hope that we can deepen our partnership and work together with many of you who are taking part in this event to ensure that we can develop and finance the projects that help to deliver the agenda that you're discussing today. Thank you very much indeed.